गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स साई राम लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर टेन मैंसुरेशन लेट्स बिगिन द सेशन बाई सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम दैट वॉज गिवन एज होमवर्क सो दिस वॉज योर होम असाइनमेंट फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द फिगर बाई काउंटिंग स्क्वेयर लेट्स सी हाउ वी सॉल्व इट चिल्ड्रन वी हैव लर्न दैट वी विल काउंट द नंबर ऑफ फुल्ली फिल्ड स्क्वायर्स हाफ फिल्ड स्क्वायर्स मोर देन हाफ फिल्ड स्क्वायर्स एंड लेस देन हाफ फिल्ड स्क्वायर्स एंड देन फाइंड द total area of the figure so how many fully filled squares are there we have 1 2 3 and 4 4 fully filled squares that means 1 multiplied by 4 4 square units and now let's see how many half filled squares are there we have 2 half filled squares so half multiplied by 2 is 1 square unit and do we have any more than half filled squares no it is zero and less than half filled squares is also zero now let's find the area so we have fold four fully filled squares that means 4 into 1 and two half filled squares that means 2 into half so 4 into 1 becomes 4 and 2 into half becomes 1 4 plus 1 is 5 so the area of this figure is 5 square units children please check your answers and if you if necessary make corrections now let's proceed with the next topic that is finding out area of rectangle and area of square by using formulas till now we have learned how to find out the area by counting the number of squares now we will find out by using formula how can we find out the area of rectangle and area of a square then we will also discuss a few examples which are related to area of rectangle and square and we will solve problem number a b and d of exercise 10.3 now if we have a rectangle with length l and breadth b then we can find the area of the rectangle by using the formula length into breadth that means if we uh, multiply the value of length of a rectangle by value of its breadth then we can find the area of the rectangle let's consider this example to understand this better find the area of a rectangle whose length is 5 cm and breadth is 3 cm so if we find the area by counting the number of squares enclosed by uh, this rectangle then we can see that we have 15 full squares isn't it the rectangle encloses 15 full squares so the area of rectangle is 15 cm square or square centimeters now let's use the formula the formula is length into breadth area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth length is 5 cm and breadth is 3 cm that means it becomes 5 multiplied by 3 it is 15 cm square isn't it which is equal to the area found out by using Uh, by counting the number of squares now let's find uh, the area of square by using formulas area of a square is side multiplied by side if we have an uh, a square with each side as a then area of square will be uh, a square or a square unit now let's look at this example we have a square each side 4 cm length so what will be the area of this square if we find it out by a uh, number of finding the number of fully filled squares we can see that this square covers 16 squares this uh, square covers 16 squares okay so completely filled squares are 16 so the area of square will be this square will be 16 square centimeters 16 square centimeters is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 isn't it 
and 4 is each side 4 centimeter each side so we can conclude that area of square is side multiplied by side children these two formulas area of rectangle and area of square are important to uh, solve the problems word problems uh, and other problems which are based on rectangle finding out the rectangle uh, area of rectangle and square so please remember them write them three four times so that you remember the formula well let's consider this example to find the area of a rectangle find the area of a rectangle whose length and breadth are 12 cm and 4 cm respectively so what is the length of the rectangle it is 12 centimeters and what is its breadth it is 4 centimeters so what is the area uh, what is the uh, formula to find out the area it is length into breadth area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth so length is 12 centimeters 12 into 4 centimeters which is breadth so 12 multiplied by 4 becomes 48 so it is 48 square centimeter the area of square uh, the rectangle is 48 square centimeters now let's look at this example to find a area of a square find the area of a square square plot of side 8 meter so we have a square plot which is each side which is having each side as 8 meters so square plot with 8 meter as each side so uh, what will be its area it will be side into side that means 8 into 8 8 meter into 8 meter so 8 8 is 64 64 square meter will be the area of this square plot next problem this is an example where area and length is given and width of the uh, width we have to find out of the rectangle uh, let's read the question uh, the area of a rectangular piece of cupboard is 36 square centimeter area is given and what is its length it is 9 centimeter then what is the width of the cardboard okay so area is given as 36 square centimeters length is 9 centimeters we have to find the width let's see how we do it children we know we can find out the area of the rectangle by using this formula area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth or length into width now we have to find the width here so how can we find it find it out since we have area and length both so if we divide area by length then we can get the width that means if we divide 36 by 9 we get a, uh, the width which is 4 centimeters okay so the width of the rectangular cardboard is 4 centimeters next example Bob wants to cover the floor of a room 3 meter wide and 4 meter long by square tiles. This problem is very important and you have to be very attentive to understand this. So here Bob wants to cover the floor of a room. Okay. So what is its width? It is 3 meter and what is its length? It is 4 meter and he want to cover it by squared tiles okay so if each square tile is of side 0.5 meter then find the number of tiles required to cover of the uh, cover the floor of the room so let's understand this problem by uh, step by step so we have a room who which is 4 meter long and 3 meter wide that means it is a rectangular room so we have to find the area of the room first okay area of the rectangle uh, that means area of the room then 
each square child is of side 0.5 meters that means we have to find the area of the tile side is given we have to find the uh, area of the tile and what will be the number of tiles required to uh, cover the floor of the room if we divide the area of the room by area of each square then it will be uh, the number of tiles required to cover the room let's see how we solve this problem so total area of tiles must be equal to the area of the floor of the room so we have length of the room as 4 uh, 4 meters isn't it and breadth of the room as 3 meters so what will be the area of the room it is length into breadth that means 4 meter into 3 meter so 12 square meter is the area of the room now we have tile uh, square tiles and each side of the tile is 0 0.5 meter so what will be the area of one square tile it will be side into side that means it will be 0 0.5 meter multiplied by 0 0.5 meter that means it will be 0 0.25 square meter each tile has an area of 0 0.25 square meter now we have a question how many such tiles will be required to cover the room so to finding for finding the number of tiles required what we do we divide the area of the floor by the area of a single tile so area of the floor area of the room we have found out it is 12 square meters and area of one tile is 0 0.25 square meter uh, square meters isn't it so if we divide 12 by 0 0.25 that means we divide 1200 by 25 we get 48 so the number of tiles required is 48 to cover the floor of the room this problem is very important now coming to the next problem this is problem number 1a of exercise 10.3 find the area of the rectangle whose sides are 3 cm and 4 cm so what is the length of the rectangle it is 4 cm okay this is 4 cm and what is the breadth it is 3 cm so what will be the area it will be length into breadth isn't it we have learnt it area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth this is the length and this is the breadth so it is 4 multiplied by 3 so 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 so 12 square centimeters is the area of this rectangle now problem number b of xi of 10.3 question 1 we have to find the area of the rectangle with uh, 12 meters length and uh, 12 meter breadth and 21 meters length so length is 21 meter breadth is 12 meter this is length this is breadth so how do we find its area we know area of rectangle is length into breadth that means 21 multiplied by 12 so what do we get we get 252 by multiplying 12 by 21 by 12 so 252 square meter or 252 meter square is the area of this rectangle children when we solve these problems it is very important that we mention the unit of the area that means whether it is square centimeters or square meters or square kilometers we have to mention that now let us move on to the next problem it is problem D of exercise 10.3 question 1 find the area of the rectangle whose sides are 2 meter and 70 centimeters okay so 2 meter is the length of the rectangle 70 centimeter is the breadth we can see both the uh, 
dimensions that means length and breadth are in, in meter and centimeters they are in different units. So, first we have to convert them into single uh, unit or same units. So, uh, length is 2 meters that means it is 2 multiplied by 100 centimeters we have converted 2 meters into centimeters. So, it is 200, and 200 centimeters why because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and breadth B is 70 centimeters. Now, we can find the area. So, we know area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So, length is 20, 200 cent, uh, centimeters and uh, breadth is 70 centimeters. When we multiply them, what do we get? We get 14,000 centimeter square as the area of this rectangle. You can convert it into meters uh, by dividing 14,000 by 100. Okay, that will be the unit in uh, the area in square meters. So you can do it like that also. Now we have uh, one question, one problem uh, to solve in your homework. That is, uh, find the area of this rectangle whose sides are 2 kilometers and 3 kilometers. So you can use the formula that you have learnt. That is, rectangle. Uh, the area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth to solve this problem. Let us end the session here. We will discuss more problems of exercise 10.3 in our coming session. Thank you.